قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كل بني آدم خطاون وخير الخطائين التوابون Every son of Adam commits sins but the best among them are the ones who repents to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We all commit sins day and night There is no person on the face of the earth who says that he is free from committing sins and before these sins will destroy you in this life you have to seek forgive, forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are many ways where you can avoid committing sins where you can have patience from committing sins and if you inculcate these things in your life if you remember these things in your life inshallah with tawfiq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it will help you it will help you from committing sins what are those things quwwatul ilmi bi su'i aqibat al ma'siya wa qabhi athriha to have a strong knowledge that to have a strong knowledge that about the evil consequences of sins upon you and its effects upon you there are many evil consequences upon a person if he commits sins some of them are that the sinner will will face humiliation after dignity and it will darken his face he will have depression anxiety extreme unrest and confusion in his affairs he will not be able he will not be able to have a, a proper focus in his life he will not be able to recognize between the good and bad and it will take away baraka and it, he will lose provision from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the angels will turn away from him he will lose the sweetness of iman he will not be able to recognize the truth and moreover he will he will earn the anger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also he will lose the protection of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if you think about these consequences upon you because of committing sins you will stay away from committing sins number 2 kisr al amal wa ilmihi bi sur'ati intiqalihi a person having a lack of hope of this life and he is certain that he is going to go to the next life rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the intelligent among you is the one who prepares for the next life who prepares for the akhirah we live here for about 60 years 50 years 70 years maximum 100 years or 30 years whatever it is but it's a small life comparatively comparing to the next life so prepare for the next life and intelligent is the one who prepares for the next life and as rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in one of the hadith kun fi dunya ka'anna ghareeb aw ahbir sabil and be in this dunya like a stranger or like a traveler number 3 khawf allah wa khashyatihi having the fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala having the fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will stay away from whatever he has prohibited us from if you really love if you really fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the salaf one of the pious predecessors said that uh, beware of hypocritical fear and some of them asked him what is the meaning of hypocritical fear he said that that is where the body seems to be fearing whereas your heart is not fearing so this is hypocritical fear so you have to fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is from from the aspects of iman so if you fear allah you will stay away from committing sins number 4 muhabbatullah azza wa jal loving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you love somebody if you love somebody you will stay away from committing sins you will try to impress that person you will try to follow that person and you will try to stay away from that person you will try to stay away from whatever he dislikes if you really love him so hasan al basri rahimahullah he said that oh son of adam love allah allah will love you and know that you will not love allah until you love obeying him so if you love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will automatically obey allah azza wa jal so increase your love towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this love will stop you from committing sins number 5 al haya wa min allah subhanahu wa ta'ala having modesty having shyness in front of all front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you know the sins are mostly committed when you are in the closed room when nobody are watching but remember that allah is watching you but remember that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you every second every time he is watching you 
if you keep this in the mind you will stop committing sins imam ibn taymiyah rahimahullah he says that if you rectify your hidden affairs that is your personal affairs your personal life allah will rectify your personal life a uh, public life allah will rectify your public life so you have to be very careful when you are alone and you have to feel that allah is watching you allah is watching you number 6 مُرَعَاتُ نِعْمَةِ نِعْمَةِ عَلَيْهِ عَلَيْكَ About the contemplating about the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you. He guided us to the Islam. He gave us Iman and He gave us uh, life. He gave us provision. He was, he's given us a lot of barakah in our lives. He has protected us in this life. If you keep thinking all these things, contemplating about Allah, about the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us, you will stay away from committing sins. And شَرْفُ النَّفْسِ وَزَكَاؤُهَا Number 7 شَرْفُ النَّفْسِ وَزَكَاؤُهَا وَفَضْلِهَا And if you have self-respect and dignity, this also keeps you away from committing sins. So these are some of the ways where you can have uh, patience from committing sins. From committing sins and you can avoid sins. So make your Iman strong as strong in, in the faith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where you can stay away from committing sins. إِنَّ الْإِيمَانَ يَزِيدُ بِالطَّاعَةِ وَيَنْكُسُ بِالْمَعْصِيَةِ Where really the Iman increases by doing good deeds and the Iman is decreased by doing bad deeds. So you keep on doing good deeds, Allah will increase your Iman. And when you increase your Iman, automatically you will stay away from committing sins. Committing sins. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that اِتَّقِ اللَّهَ حَيْثُ مَا كُنْتُ And fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are. وَأَجْبَعُوا أَسَيَّةُ الْحَسَنَةُ تَمْحُوهَا And follow up a bad deed with a good deed so that the bad deed will be erased from you. So be mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whenever you commit sin in secret, try to do a good deed in secret so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe away that sin. And if you did, if you do a bad deed in public, try to do a good deed in public so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe away that bad deed from your life. And we have to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that day. And we have we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to face him when we are purified. When we are purified. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala steadfastness in this religion and protects protect us from the uh, from from the shayateen. Ameen.